Hey guys, this is Clouds, and today I'm breaking down a round of Rush on Swasson, I believe is how you pronounce it. Uh, this is a very hectic Rush map on the first base because the space between the attacking spawn and the objectives is very small, so the attackers can get to the base very quickly. You'll see here, my team has abandoned Bravo, which is never good to do. And I have smoke grenades for some problem. I remember I just spawned in with whatever I had, so I don't have the best setup. And I'm not sure I want to push in here, because I know there are enemies head clipping behind this wall. I don't know why I'm hip firing there. I was just, I was in the mood, you know, for hip firing, as I get totally outplayed by that guy crawling on his belly. That was a free kill for him. All right, so I switched classes, uh, which is a good thing to do because I figure, I remember that I was like, these guys are pretty aggressive, so I'm gonna need the medic. And you gotta look good when you're playing. Which camo do I go with? Hunter, all right, nice. Uh, in the time I've taken to choose my fancy gun camo, both MCOMs, or telegraph posts, sorry. Both of them have been armed. Uh, I want to prioritize B because I'm pretty sure... What well, does it matter now? Alpha's disarmed. But uh, I was pretty certain that Bravo was armed first, so that's going to explode first. That was some nice... Um, I don't know what you call that. Firing control. Every bullet counted. That was a uh, very disciplined fire. Okay, so Alpha's armed. I don't really want to push out up there because it's way too open. I calmly... I, you know, sometimes I panic with a revolver, but that time... Oh my god, look at this guy. This guy's swimming in place. You know, like, those, those hamster wheels where hamsters will run in place? This guy's like in the water mill, swimming in place. Look, his dead body psychs me out. This guy, the aquatic hamster. Oh my god, what a guy. That was a pretty poor engagement on my part. Although I gotta be honest, I wasn't really concerned with staying in the spawn because in Battlefield 1 for Rush, in the time between when the attackers take a base and when they can move to the next base, you can't deplete any of their tickets, so you'll see their tickets, well it just went up to 75, but between that time span, it doesn't matter how many kills you get, you're only going to be helping your KD. Anyway, I did not want to make the same mistake we made on the first base by abandoning a telegraph post, and you can look here, Alpha is totally abandoned, so I'm like, I gotta push that, and the enemy is on it. You'll notice here, I, my buddy Snowstake, I'm waiting for him to spawn on me, and it's such a great choice, because if I did not wait for him to spawn on me, I probably would have gotten killed, and no one would be able to disarm Alpha. Because, you know, 2v1, heads up, you're, you're pretty much guaranteed to win that engagement. Shout out to this uh, support player, randomly dropping ammo, even though I didn't ask for it. We need more people like this guy. Alright, so... I, I'm running back here, I just wanted to check if there were people flanking back here. I didn't see anyone back here, but... I figured this enemy team that we're playing is fairly decent, so... I wanted to check if they were flanking. Right now I'm just patrolling. I think Snowstake called this guy out for me. The aquatic hamster crawling on his belly again. Alright, what do I do here? More hip fire kills. I think that guy was already hurt. Looks like Bravo. Well, there's some dead skulls on Bravo, so. And the artillery is firing down on Bravo, so clearly. There are enemies over here, but I got a, I got some teammates over here, and I decide, okay, I should go back to Alpha. To be honest, I probably abandoned Alpha too long. It's probably going to get armed any second now, I would say.
So I'm moving back. I don't shoot that guy because I figure I'm not going to kill him anyway. I know, so I know there's a guy in the barn. I take care of this guy. Oh, look at this. I hit this guy for 53 damage, so I'm like, it's a guaranteed kill. And then I hit him for 50. So I've done 103 damage, but he doesn't die. And that's because this guy was very quick to drop a med kit for himself. And that shows you just how important med kits are for 1v1 engagements. And even though he just barely survived, Healing himself for just a little bit was enough to give him the edge. Uh, I probably could have played that better. You know, this guy, that guy knew where I was coming from, so I probably should have tried to flank around him. Right here, I'm, I, I'm hearing the pitter-patter of feet all around me, and I just like, sensory overload, don't know what to do, oh god. So the enemy team takes Alpha, and right here is a very important tactic I guess you could say. I, I feel like I've covered this before but when an enemy team takes a rush objective you do not want to stop defending where that previous income was because if you do it gives the enemy team just a free flank. They can just you give up that much for the map you'll see a bunch of the enemies are over here because they can just come here and then head towards Bravo so anytime you lose a telegraph post, or MCOM, depending on the game, you do not want to stop defending that area. Just kind of... lurking, patrolling this area, you know? I can hear the pitter patter our feet. And I'm on the hunt. Shout out to this uh, blueberry. Or I guess he's not blue, he's teal because of my color thing. A lot of people skip revives, even when there is a medic close by. I can understand partially because a lot- of, I've had medics who I know have a syringe. Oh, look at this. The aquatic hamster again, dude. Look at this goofball. You do not want to drop a med kit and heal yourself in the open. You want to get behind cover before you do that. Alright, right here. I check to the right. I knew there were going to be enemies somewhere around to the left because I heard them, but anytime you're going out of cover and into the open, you just want to check where the enemy is coming from because there might be like one guy lagging behind and you know, you just got to make sure that it's like crossing the road, you know, look both ways before you cross the road because you don't want to get shot. Alright, right here. Poor play by me, I guess. I mean, again, 2v1. I know the gun I'm using has a low capacity, but even if I had 10 or 15 rounds, I'm not gonna probably out damage those guys unless I'm like head clipping or shooting them from the sides. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a bit unlucky, I guess. So I know those guys are over where Alpha was and I'm pushing over there. Decent hit fire. Right here, I call out to my buddy Snowsake. I'm like, did Boom Kapow Smash kill you? He's like, yeah, he did. And I'm like, okay. So now I know it's safe to go for the revive. Obviously, there could be another enemy lurking nearby, but I was confident that that was probably a safe revive. Spot that guy. Don't bother shooting because I'm probably not going to do anything to him, but maybe hurt him a little bit. Again, I'm disciplined, not firing until I think I'll hit him once or whatever. Okay, that's not a good example. That's a good example. That was controlled fire. And notice here, the enemy, whoever shot smoke, that's a great tactic. I love shooting smoke at a window that an enemy is at because they're totally confused and they don't know where to shoot. The aquatic hamster. This guy's such a goofball, dude. Like, what are you doing? The, um... Shooting smoke at a win- Cause let's say you're behind cover and you shoot smoke out in front of you. Yeah, it's decent concealment, but the guy in the window knows to shoot in that general direction. But if you shoot smoke up at my window, now I'm totally lost. I can't see where anything is. So that's a very 
I prefer- is this the aquatic hamster again? Oh my god, dude. This guy is so- no, oh man. I- sometimes people get your goose, and this game, I got the aquatic hamster's goose really good, I would say. Anyway, at this point, two tickets left. We are pretty much- yeah, we just won. And, uh, you know, decent game. Shout out to the aquatic hamster, he got three kills. Pretty sure one of those kills was me, so, uh, you know, he did okay. And, uh, yeah, this round, I would say, shows the importance of... You know... Taking... You have to... Dude, shout out to the enemy team. I don't remember who these guys were. They just got a squad or whatever, so good job for them. Anyway, I think this round... It really showed the importance of learning to watch over telegraph posts that are not being looked at because it's it's important to obviously defend MCOMs, but you know, sometimes you gotta put on the big boy pants and if no one on your team is at a telegraph post, you gotta be the guy to do it. And of course, this round also showed, I think, the importance as defending a lost telegraph post area because the enemy team will still come from that area and use it as a flanking option. So if you can hold that area down, it will be invaluable to your team as a defender. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this round, it was, it was a pretty quick round and I just wanted to like, you know, get back into the commentating thing. It's been so long since I've done this. You know, wow. This, this is nostalgic. I don't know if I said that word right. I looked up how to say Swasan, and now I'm failing to say Nos. N oh my god. Hold up. I'm, I'm breaking out, I'm breaking out the phone. Hold up. This is embarrassing. Hold up. I'm gonna use Google Assistant. One moment. Just a moment. How do you say now? Did you just say take your time? Am I taking too long for you? Oh my god, dude. Don't you get smart with me. How do you pronounce nostalgic? That's pronounced nostalgic. N Can you say that again? That's pronounced nostalgic. Okay. I'm overcomplicating this. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, uh, you know, it's, it's good to be back, boys. It's good to be back. I'm gonna try to do this more often. You know, as I'm recording this, it is currently Saturday noon. And the Battlefield 1... It's not called E3. It's EA Play. They're going to be discussing it more, and I look forward to, uh... Reading about it and looking at some videos, you know? Oh my god. Dude, I was just... Vaguely discussing this, or I wasn't discussing this. One of my buddies, Gare Bear, he created a subreddit called Battlefield Rush. And as I was looking through it, it has... The Rush game mode has not been confirmed for Battlefield 1. Dude. Dice. Please. If you... If you downgrade Rush to some DLC game mode... Oh my god, I'm gonna cry so much. Please don't let this happen. Oh my god. I don't think they do it, but then again, you never know. Uh, yeah, so. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.